words, two words you cannot be called in the Cali prison system. If you're, if you're that bad, you can call people all you want, these two words. But you cannot be called either of these two words without getting them up. If someone uses these words against you, towards you, you have to do something about it. If you don't stand up for yourself, we won't stand up for you. And the fact is, we have to stand up for you. So if you don't stand up for you, you're getting packed out. You're getting smashed. That's it. That's the way it works. If you get called a punk, you must get them up right away. There's no, there's no grace period. You're not going to wait and think about it. You get them up that second. And if you get called a bitch, same thing. If you don't get them up, you're done. You're done. This is how it works. It's politics. We have to fight for you. If you go do something stupid, you fuck up, go across the wrong boundary lines of another race. If you fuck it off with a cop and you guys start getting them up. If you start getting them up with another race because of your drug debt. It doesn't matter what you did. I have to jump with you. I have to jump with you. So if one of your own people calls you a punker bitch, you have to get them up. There's no way around it. We don't stand up for you if you don't stand up for you. That's the facts. You cannot be a weak link. You cannot be a weak link. This is what it is. On your toes at all times. If someone from another race calls you one of these words, done. You cannot be disrespected by people and not stand up for yourself in the California prison system or you will get dealt with by your people. That's what it comes down to. Energy is everything. And if you're put, even if you're putting off the wrong energy, which people don't get, a motherfucker will test you. If you're all bitter and butthurt, negative, walking around, like most pussies walk around here, victim ass bitches walk around on the streets, someone's gonna be like, hey, take a little off that, homeboy. Take a little off that. Because you're just invading people's positivity and the optimism they're trying to cultivate with your negativity. I tell people that all the time. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Dude's like, I, I don't, what? I, I'm not doing anything. I said, of course you're doing something. Stop. Stop doing that. Motherfucker's all new. He's like, damn, Wes, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Stop walking around all negative with that energy. You're fucking up the inner peace I've built for years. Stop it. It sounds crazy, but you're, you're hypersensitive to people, to energy. You're hypersensitive. You can read people's thoughts when you've been in the same block with them for an extended period of time and not going anywhere else. That's why your level up, your evolution needs isolation. When you isolate yourself and no variables change in your life, you start to go within. You start to sense things. You start to get Heightened awareness towards everything and everyone. Everything you're doing gets more detailed, more sensitive. This is why we're like that. This is how I became successful out here. It's because I never dropped that redundant program, that monotonous program that keeps me heightening the variables, understanding them deeper, looking within, reflecting more. And this is what the penitentiary and isolation will do to you. If you don't realize your constant projection of the future. I really can't wait till Friday. I can't wait till Friday. Or next month we're taking a vacation. If you don't realize you're consistently projected in the future and that's your weakness, you're fucked. Because if you don't understand going from flow state to flow state to flow state to flow state all day is your power with singular focus, you will never get what you're capable of. People in the penitentiary learn such great skills. They learn such, they're so fucking creative because they're in flow state. They come up with stuff. They're the best tattoo artists. They make the craziest arts and crafts. These motherfuckers work out with the deepest intensity. They're writing, their writing abilities. Everything comes from emotional motivators from within because they're tapped into themselves. They're tapped into the source. At that point, when you're not in the future in a negative way, you're not drifting into the past in a negative way, when you've accepted your fate that you're gonna be in here for a long time, you can finally just be present and that present state is everything. People's forward projection of the future and the desires they have that are essentially coming their way that are gonna make them happy is their greatest weakness. You can cultivate any feeling that you want within at any time through simple exercise, focus, and gaining clarity by reflecting to get yourself out of 
the past, get yourself away from this negative future creation or this desires. Wealth and want equally harden the human heart. That's why I always say you have to self-inflict adversity to match your success level. As I rise, I still don't gain the comfort. I don't seek the comfort that everybody does because I know as I rise, I have to self-inflict adversity to stay tapped in to my greatest source, which is just consciousness, the universe, infinite intelligence. Suffering is a soul origin consciousness. When you fucking no longer suffer, you're no longer attached to all your greatest power. To fucking truly live is to face adversity and be proud of the outcome. A man who never tests himself with adversity will never know what he's capable of. So we're continually self-inflicting adversity throughout our days with our program to match the success level where everybody else would have slept in by now because they made millions and they're so powerful now. I still haven't because this is what keeps me in check. This. This program, the fact that I never missed a video because I truly value putting out what works for me. It's not about me, motherfuckers. It's not about me. When you learn to just lift others up and fill others' cups selflessly, even remotely through content, especially remotely through content, you will automatically lift yourself tenfold. When people are sending a positive signal above and it comes back to you, what do you think that does? That raises your rate of vibration. So many people, a collective consciousness, sending positive thoughts to the universe about you and you have one singular focus, to give, to outwardly give what's valuable to you. Saw a dumb bitch in my comments, not in the comments, in the DM. Are you angry? I'm passionate, motherfucker. I'm passionate. A lot of people call me intense, angry, this or that. I would say I'm passionate and you're lacking passion. I'm purposeful and you're lacking purpose. So guess what? We're both right. Yeah, I'm intense, purposeful, purpose driven. We're both right. Which one's working better for who, motherfucker? That's what I'm talking about. Them comforts, them creature comforts that humans seek. Just weaken them. They'll always fall back to them. That's the one thing I will not bend for because I know what happens there. I know what happens there. We're choosing to be less of ourselves. So we see less in everybody around us. We're choosing to be less of ourselves. So our perspective on how grand life is and the emotional attachment we have to everything is less. We cannot do less and be more. Do more. Wake up tomorrow and do everything you can. Fuck what you can. Let's go.